Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today we're going to be touching base on Trick or Treat Studios, Billy the Puppet Mask from the Saw movies. Okay, he's the one that runs around on a tricycle, and he's a puppet, well, supposedly, but anyway, um, anyway, long story short, I wanted to get this simply because it's part of the horror collection, and um, for the most part, I actually got it yesterday, got it late, but um, I had to run to work, so I couldn't do anything with it, so I just left it sitting on the table, and when I got home, I said, I'll do a video, and then I was too damn tired to do it, so it wasn't going to happen, okay, but anyway, I did manage to take it out of the bag and try it on and I gotta say it is the moving mouth version of the mask because I'm going to use this for display purposes only I should have got the other one there are in fact two different versions of this mask obviously there's the full mask and then there's this moving mouth mask all right I'll show you pictures of it what it looks like on my he uh, head on my face anyway um, just so you know, once you see the moving mouth part of it, you're not too disappointed because it does, doesn't look half bad on your face, but you got to adjust it. And obviously you got to wear a lipstick because your lips will show, uh, just so you can match it up a little bit if you choose to purchase one of these. But I'll tell you this, I'll be honest with you, the moving mouth mask, um, I'm kind of disappointed, not because of the way it's made, but because of the fact that the way it's made, you know, I mean... I wanted a full face mask. I should have known better than to order this, but it is what it is. It don't look bad once you get it stuffed, because I got to stuff it with plastic and stuff like that. And I got to get the chin adjusted to the point that it lines up with the jowls a little bit, your cheeks. Uh, but right now, as you can see, that's definitely not the case. Uh, like I said, I got to stuff it to the point. But right now, I got this on a styrofoam head. And it doesn't look half bad. It doesn't need much stuffing because it is a smaller mask. Uh, for big headed people, now I will tell you this, I'll take this off and show you what it looks like. It is not a full mask mask, okay? It is about probably three quarters. It fits over the entire part of your head except towards the back. Obviously it's going to get covered up with the hair. But it is not a full face mask, okay? So keep that in mind as you can see it coming around there. So there is definitely the other version of this which is obviously the full mess I should have got that one but this is okay because I just wanted this part of the uh, collection and um, I'm gonna stuff it so it looks halfway decent it did look good last night because I put it on this uh, the styrofoam head and I just threw it on the shelf and it looked good but like I said I got to adjust the, uh, the mouthpiece so it lines up a little bit but anyway let me go ahead and shut this down pull it off the styrofoam head and then we'll talk about it okay all right all right, pull that off of there, all right. All right, Billy the Puppet. All right, let me get my self in position here. Okay, here we go. All right, now as you can see, it looks like a big mess because of the chin, okay? Let's look underneath first. Sorry about the sniveling, all right? And the hair gets in the way. Alright, and we gotta twist this around. There we go. Alright, now, now that's lined up. Now, as you can see right here, the chin literally has got to be strapped to your chin, and you gotta somehow manage to line it up. As you can see, pull back here. Say, hi, my name is Billy. But anyway, you gotta line it up, so. And that's what I gotta do when I stuff it and stuff, so it lines up perfectly. But anyway, let's just get a close look at the mask. So like I said, if you want a Billy the Mask from Trick or Treat Studios, and you don't want this moving chin thing, stay away from it, okay guys? Alright, the color scheme on this is pretty cool. Now a lot of people when they get the Trick or Treat Studios masks, they constantly want to repaint them. Which I can understand because there's some people, like the Michael Myers masks, they always want to repaint them to look as close to the original as possible. It's understandable, but you're spending a, an extra amount of money just to get that done. And sometimes it, it's worth it, okay? All right, so the hair. Okay, now, according to the full face mask one they have, the hair is really soft. This one's soft, but I think it's probably made of a different material. Don't quote me on it, but it just seems a little different, and it is definitely longer uh, because, obviously, and... It's also said that the mask in itself, the hairline, 
is really, as you can see right here, just stitched on towards the top here and just draped back. That's all it is. All right. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shut this off and I'm going to actually show you what that looks like. That's cool. The eyes are cool too. Now one thing about the vision on this thing here, surprisingly, when you wear it, even if you got a big head. Now if you got a like a long head, the actual adjusting of the mask and the chin here is going to be hard and if it's really big okay I wouldn't advise you to get this if you're going to pl plan on wearing it for Halloween uh, because obviously you're going to have problems getting it adjusted so it looks good and that's why I say stay away from the open mouth mask for me it's not a major problem because I'm going to stuff it like I said and it's just for display I'm not going to wear this at all okay unless I get the actual costume but I'm not going to do all that alright but anyway as you can see the lips right here the paint job on it All right. Mm -hmm. that's cool but anyway for the most part this mask is very cool looking with the exception of this if I would known this before I would have got the full face mask but this is not bad don't get me wrong once I stuff it it'll look good and that's what we're gonna show you next okay so I will be right back okay we are back and I will be honest with you it took me a little bit of time to stuff it in the right way so it looks halfway decent the chin strap part of it I wouldn't recommend stuffing anything in the chin because it will throw it off a little bit you can if you want to stuff it with some cotton balls that's fine uh, but for the most part I left it empty as you can see the jaw right here is like kind of wide open but when you actually lay it on your uh, shelf or display it doesn't look bad at all okay but like I said when it comes to the moving jaw Billy the puppet um not too keen on it okay I should have just got the full mask because I wanted it just for displays don't get me wrong if you got a small head and you want to wear this it's gonna look cool okay I will tell you that but like I said um, I will have some pictures on here to show you I'm gonna show you towards the end of the video what it actually looks like with uh, me wearing it and stuff like that but anyway this is my Billy the Puppet from the Saw movies okay um, I'm gonna end this here okay uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be pushing out some more videos. This is Pumpkin Horror. You guys have yourselves a good day.